Can you hear them? I can hear them. They don't see me yet. hear them. It's almost sunrise now. I hear three. go. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die, Alpha 21.2. I'm your host, Bitwrecked. We are in New York City. So this is possibly the best base location I've ever seen. I don't mean that ironically or in any other way. Um, and the reason is, for me, let me show you. This feature right down there. You see that zombie? Well, they're stuck. And they're in water. And it's concrete. Already. I found yesterday that if I... Same over here by this this ramp. I walk down, right? The zombie's after me. If I go around this thing and I stand here, the zombie will get onto the ledge and then start to path. And if I walk over here, they'll walk into and down into the water. And they're stuck. I don't consider that cheese. This was made before I got here. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to build my whole base around it. One of the biggest problems I had, and still do, 
in game anyway <laughs> is look at that another one just plop is I could never figure out how to legitimately build my base without them just tearing the hell out of it <coughs> pardon me but you can see that I've sort of resorted to doing the little cheesy floating base deal right just to stay alive so I can showcase the daytime action I mean, if I can use this right as a utility, as part of the base, like even a screamer farm, for example, I mean, if anybody wants to take that idea and make a vid video about doing a screamer farm on this thing, go ahead. I mean, that would be amazing. Because quite literally, they will path into it without having to be coaxed. They'll just go like lemmings. I don't think I've seen that before. Everything else has been done to the point where that just doesn't happen. But look at this guy. It's just... I had one of the big guys fall, like a Hawaiian shirt guy down, fall down in there, and he was just looking at me, and I was just staring at him. He was, he was hitting against, he can't even jump out. It's a block and a half high. But you can see his head and his shoulder, and you can just like quack, quack, quack. And it's just like, that's just stupid easy. But... We're talking about insane mode here in the city. And we're talking about permadeath. But this is a game changer for me. I can be like, okay, I have to think about this now. How am I going to use this? Because I only get one shot. If I die, it's done, right? So, <sighs> wow. I mean, I've been thinking about this for a bit. I mean, this seems pretty simple, but how do you really architect something that works with this feature. I don't know of another one. Not like that. Plus, they go into water, so that means if they fall, they're not going to go into rage mode if they hit water. If it's deep enough? I don't know. Anyway, a lot of questions. But, I mean, look at these just sitting in there. And I'm going to go down there in a second, but... I'm going to stop the video so I can make sure I get this clip. Because this is important. I want to make sure that I, I explain this properly to myself and to you. So I know that this is a real thing here. And also it's okay to use. It's not cheesing the game. I'm going to think about it. If it's cheesing the game, it's going to cheap. It's going to cheapen it for me. You know. So my original idea is to use this stretch here as my horde, horde base. Right? Because you get it up a up, uh, you know, thing here. And then you can walk across the thing and do all your traps. So you know. One of my first videos is based on this one right here. And then yesterday, at the end of the video, I was over here on these blocks, and I was signing off, and I was looking at this guy as my home, and I'd have a little catwalk over here, and I'd have, you know, and then I'd be able to use this as my horde base. Okay, there's my stuff. I wandered over here and saw this. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. So I used all the wood I could to make something, you know, decent and get me up here. And I just, I just hunkered down. I didn't care. I was like, nope, I don't care about making anything. I'm just, pfft, I want this. So, plus got all the guys, right, got guys and gals over here supporting me. So I'm like, hey, okay, cool. That's right. I've got a feeling this was put here to face this to be here for a reason. I don't think these are random things. And if they are, then this map was created, luckily enough, to have, you know, basically the the overseer z looking at their work. Like, is anybody going to see this? Well, guess what? I see it. So, yeah. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to stop the game. I don't want to screw up. I don't want to burn time. It's 5 a.m. This is kind of a big deal. I, I want to stop it, and I'll come back. I'll edit it so it's the same video and everything, but yeah. Give me a few hours on this one. I'll be back.